Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some entitled Karens seen at airports. The Karens in this video are some of the most unhinged I have ever seen. Oh. He tackled her! Oh. How do you guys not get embarrassed? Oh. That one's gonna ruffle some feathers, I feel. She has a connecting flight. Give me my. No, give me my. Give me my. I want my stuff. I am in the back and go somewhere. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff right now. Oh dear lord. Oh Jesus, take the wheel. Looks like she's gonna follow you with her boarding pass. Strong possibility she will follow you with her boarding pass. Yay, go away. Dear Lord, look at, oh God, how embarrassing. Oh my Lord. How are you not embarrassed? Someone get this woman a binky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me gather what's going on here. I'm assuming that you are not, that your bags are still on the plane. I want my stuff! This is one of the risks you get when you fly. Sometimes things go wrong and your luggage might not make it to your destination when there's delays, when there's flight cancellations, whatever. So your bags are gonna be on the airplane. Might take a couple days for them to get to you. However, it doesn't matter how loud you scream, you're not getting your bags before everybody else. What makes you so dang special that they have to open that cabin door to get your bags out? You know, I had a friend who we went to Mexico for her bachelorette. We've had issues with this airport before, with this airline specifically. They've lost my bags before too. I'm never flying them again. So the bride lost her luggage with almost everything in it related to the bachelorette party. So she had to borrow a bunch of our clothes and this was her bachelorette. You had to just suck it up. Like you literally had to just suck it up. You're not special, Karen. You're mm -hmm. out of luck just like the rest of us, okay? Yes, they lose bags. Yes, it sucks. Yes, you're probably going to have to wait a few days once you get to your destination to see that luggage. But you screaming in an airport like a four-year-old, I know four-year-olds who are better behaved than you. <laughs> this behavior worked at home, honestly, yeah. Clearly, when she doesn't get what she wants, she realized that if she screams at the top of her lungs, people just want to shut her up and they will listen and do whatever she wants. It's kind of difficult at an airport though. Kind of difficult. They'll just kick you out and put you on a no-fly list. You're done, you're done. She is not being very demure right now. <laughs> this is the opposite of demure. And so am I. Honestly, I'm not a very demure person, but like, <laughs> let's be mindful, ladies. Let's be mindful, besties. You see how we are calm in airports? You see how we handle conflict, handle rejection, handle changes? We are very mindful, we are very demure, we are very considerate of other people in the airport who do not want their ears to burn off. God, this demure is everywhere, dude. I had demure dreams last night. Very demure, very mindful. Oh, man. When there's a Karen in your spirit flight, when you're just trying to go home after a bachelorette weekend. Everybody's filming. Oh! Oh, that's embarrassing. You know you've done embarrass yourself when the flight attendant has to go on the intercom to tell people not to give you any attention. Like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but like, <laughs> you can't be helped. If someone is telling you, you know what, I'm just not gonna give you any attention. <laughs> 
They feed off it. They love it. That flight attendant on the intercom is so done. So done. Oh, she get. Oh, there's a part two. Oh my goodness. When Karen gets arrested, only like four hours late between delays and Karen. Bye. Oh God. My anxiety could never, like. <laughs> oh God. How do you guys not get embarrassed? No, and everyone really did clap this time, guys. Like it's obvious there is video proof. Everyone clapped. <laughs> And everyone laughed. <laughs> My goodness. How humiliating. How can you hold up a, an entire airplane with your behavior? And everybody's laughing and staring and pointing their phones at you, clapping when you leave because you're that. I'm trying to think of the opposite of demure. What is the opposite of demure? <laughs> Rambunctious, foul, ratchet. How, how do you do that? How do you sit there or stand there and just take that kind of humiliation for yourself? Like it is just, this is bad, this is bad. If you get arrested on Spirit Airlines, you know you messed up. Okay, but from what I hear, Spirit Airlines is quite a budget airline. So there's gonna be some interesting characters, interesting characters indeed. Okay, 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 okay. Very kind of dumb move. I'm sorry, you're literally in the midst of getting arrested and <laughs> discarded off of an airplane and then you rip someone's phone out of their hands and throw it? This is not very demure. You see how when we get arrested, we stay calm? <laughs> We don't cause a further scene. We quietly exit the airplane. Very demure, very mindful, very considerate. 101 on getting arrested. Do not commit a crime in front of the people who are arresting you. It won't go over well. Did you see how this cop basically just like tackled her? He tackled her! He tackled her! He's like, nope! Not today! He was being so nice to you too. He like, he was so demure. He's like, where's your bag? Is it this one? Okay, we're gonna get that bag for you. We're gonna get you off the plane. She probably thought she could test you. You were too nice. <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened before this, but I know for a fact, if you are being escorted off of an airplane by police, you are in the wrong. Ain't no doubt about it. And furthermore, if you're dumb enough to commit a crime in front of the policemen that are escorting you off a plane, I know who's in the wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh. I'm not okay. I've been there before. This hurt my elbow. He's hurting my wrist. You're hurting me, Sheriff. You're hurting me, Sheriff. Lady, what are you doing? Ah. Ah. Why are you joking? I can't breathe. Why are you touching my leg? Why are you touching my leg? Everyone is laughing. Please. No! Don't, don't, don't. No! 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 No
Oh, they got their work cut out for them, that's for sure. Okay, so what, we got a little lit at the airport? Like, what is going on here? What's happening here, ma'am? These police officers, like, actually don't know what to do with her. Why is it always Spirit Airlines? <laughs> like, literally. Why is it always Spirit Airlines? Oh, man. Every Spirit flight guarantees a crazy person incident. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you ever wanted to go on a Karen safari, <laughs> purchase a Spirit Airlines ticket. You'll be sure to see one. Let's be honest, if this was happening to you and you were on that airplane, your flabbers would be gasted. I noticed a woman and her friend acting slightly erratically when I arrived at EWR. The lawyer named Karen and her friend, an unknown nurse practitioner, warned the cops they could face trouble for not allowing them on the flight, citing Karen as a professional lawyer. Oh, and we're getting arrested. Oh God, this person's on FaceTime. This person's literally on FaceTime while they're recording it. These women look hammered. Like, I'm sorry, they look sloshed, sloshed. Oh my goodness, oh dear Lord, you're kikiing. <laughs> you're kikiing on FaceTime. Oh my goodness. I genuinely believe, like this is my opinion that these women are very drunk and maybe they just got too drunk to the point where they're not allowed on the plane. But I can confirm you are not in fact going to Dublin. You won't be flying anywhere for a while. Have fun on that Greyhound. What you doing is wrong. This guy put your luggage up there. His luggage up here now, you don't have any space. Yeah, I got you. Hey, baby. No, no space. He's got no space. He have no space because he put his luggage up here. Look. The maximum gravity. Sir, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Okay, if you continue, no, don't stop. point please, it. Don't please, put your finger please, in. Please stop. You put your finger I'm at me one you more to, time. I'm, I'm gonna call to, the police. I'm gonna tell you to stop. No, if you point your finger at me one more time, I'm gonna call the police. I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm just saying. To no, you, you point you your stop. finger at me. You need to stop with this whole luggage. Point your finger at me. I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police on you. Point your finger, and I'm gonna call the police. No, you point the you point your Nothing, finger. Nothing, sir. That's okay. That's so okay. what? That's not illegal. Yeah. Uh, are you staying on this flight? Uh, I'll go with it. Yeah. Go with it. Yeah. Okay. We grab our stuff. Oh, I'm assuming we're getting kicked off. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh... So let me get this straight. We're causing a commotion because of the luggage and the overhead compartments not being where we want it to be. Have we never flown on a plane before? Never, sir? I love how this man is telling the flight attendant, Look, look, see, someone put their luggage in the overhead compartment. In the overhead compartment where they are supposed to put it. 
First day on an airplane, sir? Right, got it, got it, good. Man, flight attendants really do not get paid enough, do they? You know, it's funny, there are a lot of flight attendants who watch my content. Like, literally any time I hop on an airplane, the flight attendants are like, can you come up here and can we take a photo with you? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Shout out to my Air Canada fam, my WestJet fam. Oh, oh, sorry, I kicked ya. Didn't mean to kick ya while well, I'm shouting ya out there, buddy. Let me just tell you, you guys are amazing. You don't get paid enough to deal with this crap. You don't. I'm on your side. If anyone knows how to be demure, it's a flight attendant. And that's on period. Subscribe!